unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ben Swan's in studio with us. I'm your host, Alex Jones. I want to talk about the Second Amendment, but something that dovetails with that. Bloomberg, with his uh, mayors against people defending themselves, or illegal guns, as he calls it, and uh, Moms Demand Action, all five of them, they have gone to Facebook and are saying they're going to put it in with porn, not let people under 18 see any type of pro-gun comments, not let gun shops have online sites pushing them back to their legal gun shops. That's right. This is a real form of censorship we see. What's your take on that and other other ways they're going to try to curtail our, our liberty? Well, I think it's a very interesting moment uh, in American history because you have something like the Second Amendment. You have firearms that are being treated as if they are this danger to society, right? And that's all part of the propaganda. This idea that we're going to create a picture where anyone who, who believes in the right to keep and bear arms is a villain, um, is, is pushing for violence. Violence uh, is doing something that's harmful to children. I mean, it's really a, it's actually a pretty smart uh, propaganda campaign by by the leftists uh, and the globalists who want to take away those guns. But consider this: what Facebook has done is they've allowed us to depend on them, and and we've built a whole lot of property on Facebook's real estate. And I think what's got to happen next is that there's going to have to be a, a movement to walk away from that social media site, whether it's the emergence of a new one or whatever it might be. I think liberty folks. Pro Second Amendment folks, there are enough of them out there. You could overnight, overnight, you could build a new social network. No, no, I agree. We have PlanetInfoWars.com, but it's kind of a basic system. People use that. It's PlanetInfoWars.com. But the problem is, I, I get that, but it had major media support. They built yes. it into billions of people visiting and hundreds of millions on it. YouTube, Facebook, even though they censor, that's where the fight is. Yes. So, yeah, I think we should build new alternatives while still going in there and dominating the memes. They don't want us in there because right. we're winning. Yeah. They have to shut down our free speech because we're cooking. We are kicking Bloomberg's butt. Well, but I also think this. I think that Facebook's dying anyways. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a pump and dump. Yeah, it really is. I mean, they 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 blew up. They did this big IPO, uh, and which was a kind of a... a Failure as they got it launched, uh, but but Facebook is it's done already. I mean, people are moving away from it. That's another generational thing where they've already started shifting away. So I think everything that Facebook is doing now is just a nail in its own coffin. And again, it's like CNN nails in its own coffin. They can't help it. It's like Reddit has these. You know, we like to discuss censorship, but we censor the discussions yeah. of censorship. Reddit, Dig, all those. We used to dominate those, and they just banned our our articles being on there. Uh, you know. Uh, they have a little default that their super mods have where they just kill it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. You're voting for it to be upvoted. That's no, right. no, it's rigged. Right. Well, because it's the appearance of free speech. It's the appearance of liberty. It's the, the appearance that you're going to have a say, but you don't actually have one. And people argue, well, why does your comment censor stuff? Well, if you say we're going to kill the president or something, right. there's automatic bots and stuff or spam that block it. We're not even on there. It's Discus that does it. Uh, that way it's third party. I have no liability. Believe me, I had plenty of trouble running our own comments and our own you know, message boards and things. But we're not censoring, but it's our it's also our site. But but a site that advertises post your articles and people can upvote it and then you cheat the voting process, that's true censorship. Yeah, no, it, it is true censor censorship. And especially when you say, look, there are certain subjects that we don't want you to discuss. So there's a difference between saying, hey, listen, we want to have we want to have civil debate conversation here. We don't want you to attack people and, and, and say horrible things about them on a personal level. That's different than saying this is a, a subject that you're not allowed to discuss. Well, they won't let us post an article about how they make students and teachers take part in shooting drills uh, in Missouri. Mm -hmm. You post that to Dig or to Reddit, and 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 no matter how many votes it gets, it never goes to the front right. page. Right, because like you said, the, the bots are are keeping it down, and that's the whole idea behind Reddit. Is it's supposed to be a way for people to 
on their own, right? Self-select, upvote, downvote, as you said, and they have control, but you don't actually have control. It's all the appearance of control. On Infowars.com, if you look at the most popular, it's just your comments and how many people read it. That's what goes to the top, and we don't censor that. Yeah, I don't see some story up there that I don't like and go, hey, wait a minute. Move that one out. Yeah, you know, yeah. take that off the top most popular. Now, sometimes in, in the featured news, I'll say, hey, I want this back as the top story. But right. but that's the difference between censorship and, and, and uh, placement of stories. Absolutely. Well, listen, Ben Swan, thank you for coming in. Great to meet you in person. You are the tip of the spear in alternative media. We salute you. Thank you. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% a practice practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the result? 